this week we're changing things up. The men will be going on dates with other women. You ready for this? Knowing that I'm about to go on another date. And I ain't cheating. Hello. <laughs> I love a girl that can low haircut and still be banging. I do work out. I like to work out too. Yeah, you look like you. Ah, you checked me out. <laughs> I like it. When we first started dating, she disappeared. I and you've been like thinking this. about that. So do you trust me now? I don't know. You think I want to sit here and be stuck? If you gonna keep waiting these years, then we might as well just be cooling and stay friends and not even get married no more. We can leave right now, you dig? I'm about right. that life. I don't right. need this. My father was my everything. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi's father is gravely ill, and it would be best for them to discontinue this process. Wow. We've got a couple of empty chairs over there. Rather than leave them that way, I think it's important to keep this group filled so everyone can learn from other points of view. Okay. So, I've invited a new couple to join us. What? <laughs> And they're arriving right now. Hey. 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 Hello. Hi. Come on in. Hello, hello, Hi. hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the new couple seems really cool. I'm not really sure what their issues are yet, but I'm welcoming. I'm ready to fix this thing together. Be ready. Be ready. I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us about your history as a couple? My name is Vince. I am Tamika. Yeah, we've been together two and a half years. Oof, it's been a journey. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the love story begin? You, okay, he invited me over to his house one day. He was like, hey, you can come over. I just cooked. I was like, whatever, fine. So I get over there and he had made crab legs and since then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> First time I saw her, I knew that there was just this connection. Tamika's definitely my soulmate. I want to share everything with her. Um, you sorry. hear my stomach growling? <laughs> that wasn't my stomach, that was my breast. You're not split. I don't hear it. He makes me happy. He makes me feel different than anybody else. She's so beautiful. I would actually marry Tamika today, like right now. We have not gotten married yet because of me. <laughs> Trust affects our relationship quite a bit. Anytime I step out or get a phone call, she kind of gets a little jealous. I'm hoping that we can come to a common ground and understand what we need from each other. I do feel like I found my person, but I just want to be on the same page with you. Yeah, me too. And what would you say frustrate you about each other? You want to go first? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been together for Two and a half years. When we first started dating, <clears throat> he was also entertaining other women. He would tell me things back then, like, oh, you're the only one I want to be with, X, Y, and Z. It's like, All right, is there anyone else involved that you're talking to? I had nobody else. He told me he didn't. This girl is DMing me, saying that they're in a relationship. <clears throat> um, I confront him about it. He's telling me I'm crazy, I'm acting insecure. Turns out, based off the messages and the text messages that the girl sent me, she was telling the truth. Oh my God, it seems like their issues are a little worse than ours. But how did the young lady know who she was? I told her, she knew about her. She seen us together, everything. What else can you do? Welcome, no matter, <laughs> please. No, please. No, matter, no matter what she said to her, she was just there because it was lingering from me getting rid of her. Oh, we got a lot to work on. No, no, like, listen, though. But it's it's yeah. my it's fault that he no had reason. another girl. We had just met each other, but you can't sit here and tell me that, oh, I'm in love with you, but then, oh, I'm trying to get rid of this person, but still, let me keep her around and text her, oh, I love you too. Bottom line, he lied about not having somebody, and he had a whole situation on the side that he still refuses to admit that it was a situation. Well... Vincent and Tamika, you're here for the same reason as our other couples. 
you're struggling to answer a very important question. Is this the person that I should marry? To help you find the answer, I'm gonna push you out of your comfort zone by having you date other people. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little nervous because he has a very likable personality, so yeah. The process is partly about meeting someone new, but it's also gonna help you examine your current relationship and confront your fears about the future. By the end, you'll be ready to make a decision. Is it time to move on or is it time to put a ring on it? At the end of this experience, I'm hoping that we both come out stronger and understanding each other a little bit more and also understanding ourselves a little bit more. This week, things are stepping up a notch. It's not just the men or the women. All of you will be going on dates. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. You want another I'm date? I'm on a date. Are you excited about your dates or my date? Because it seems like you're excited about your dates, none. Yeah, why would I be excited about your date? You tripping. Mm -hmm. Why would you be excited about your date? That's what it's for, the experience. Mm -hmm. Now that we know what we're doing this week, I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to work on. Sometimes in a relationship, we get so wrapped up some people feel like they changed into an entirely different person or even lost themselves. I feel like I lost a lot of who I used to be. I'm controlling now, before I wasn't controlling. But when I found out initially that he betrayed me, that just hit me out of nowhere. And I had to control things now because I don't want him to hurt me again. Well, this week, the call to action is for you all to be fully authentic. As you date a new person, allow yourself to be your true self. It's time to fully show up and reclaim yourself at home and on these dates. You might be surprised at what you find. All right, I'll see you guys next time. All right. <sighs> see you. See you. All right, Doc. <laughs>Exactly. It's frustrating to have a conversation with Hollywood when he just goes immediately to the disposal of this relationship. It does not feel stable. It does not make me feel that he'll have my back and will fight this thing out with me. At some point in time, I want you to get that in your head that even though you didn't want to hurt me, you did. And I know, babe, you think that don't, that don't eat me up in the inside all the time? But it don't seem like it when you popping off talking about... I know. I that know. was embarrassing. You doing that, I don't care. You could do what you want. You want in denial? That's crazy. And I'm not telling you I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to wait, but it's been way longer. Than what? Than what you made me wait? It wait, is. Wait. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it is. No, it hasn't. You had me waiting for five years to start before you even proposed. Then, after the proposal, two more years of you doing what you wanted to do to push me away, and then you were ready. It's only been technically two years since that I have you waiting. You had me waiting for seven. I know I messed up. I know I hurt you, and I know it hurts bad. How long? I don't... However long. How long can you tell me to deal with this pain when I feel like you don't really grasp it? You really don't grasp it. I will never have my daddy walk me down that aisle. Never. That is a pain that I don't I don't think that you get. I do get that. You man. don't. How you don't tell me that? Because my, what I'm saying is if you understood it, you would never tell me to just get over it. I'm not telling you to get over it. I'm trying to tell you how long I got to keep going through this. How long it's going to take me to get over it is how long you need to deal with it. Yeah, you crazy, man. I'm telling you, if it's too much for you, um, I promise you I won't be mad. I won't.
I'm just, I won't. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you that I want to be married to you, but you keep pushing me away saying you're not, not ready now. I'm pushing you away. You're saying you're not ready now. So Because I'm still hurting. But you act like you wasn't happy. We wasn't happy together anyway. I just wish sometimes you could just listen. Man, I'm listening, but you keep saying the same thing. All right. You but keep you, I'm saying the same thing man. because you don't comprehend Man, I'm tired of telling you. I'm tired of telling you I've been ready. Okay. And I you understand keep... you ready. I'm not ready. I'm getting that. Please understand this. I don't have a problem waiting, but what I'm saying in the meantime of waiting, mm -hmm. don't be mad at me when you're looking at me about a wedding if I ain't talking I'm, about I'm it. I'm not. Because I'm I don't not. know when you're ready. Exactly. I but I haven't you. been. But I haven't been. For the last two years, I haven't been upset. What okay, I've done cool. is suppress that. Okay, well. And push it out of my mind. You're you the what. one been coming at me like, what we gonna do? Okay, what I we have. gonna do? So I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna continue being cool and we gonna be how we are. Okay. And when you ready, you let me know. How about that? Huh? You about that life? Let me know. About it. You sure? I'm exhausted from waiting for Ash to get right and wanting to be married to me. But love is a, a decision to serve the other person's interest. So if my girl want me to serve her interest, whatever she tell me, I gotta serve it. All I'm saying? is that I need to see consistency. I don't need to see the back and forth of, yeah, I'm ready. Well, then leave it. You should have left. Right. I don't need to see that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I also like... need to see. I'm going to tell you right now what I need to see. If, you don't, if I don't see it, then that's your fault. Because I'm giving you the, which I shouldn't tell you nothing. No, don't tell me nothing. Just let me do me. OK. Yoga, but I um <laughs> couldn't concentrate. What's up, Bubba? How was your bike ride? It was good. What? <laughs> um. So, what'd you think about the session? I thought talking to Nicole was cool. She kind of reminded me of somebody like my auntie or something. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> seems like she should jump on you know like if things ain't right. <laughs> I like the fact that when we went, it was it was also other couples there. I like the fact that. We're all here for the same reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it'll get more fun, and I think it'll get more intense, too. It's definitely going to get intense. You just have to open up more and be honest. I know it's going to be hard for you, because you can't even really open up to me. You've been with me for <laughs> I've learned that I can't straight out ask Vince a question. I have to tiptoe around it and then get to the question. So I'm hoping that he opens up more so that I don't have to question him or I don't have to create a story in my head because I'm not getting the full story from him. But I mean, we, we went into this kind of unsure, but knowing that it was going to be work. Are you nervous? You keep rocking back and forth. It's just, I don't want you to go out on dates with nobody. Yeah. But. I'm open to it to better our situation. I'm mm -hmm. open to it. So I guess you can see one of these corn balls got some I ain't got. You are hating already. You don't even know if they're corn balls. I don't care. They ain't <laughs> corn balls. Balls of corn. Right now, it, it's not, it hasn't hit me that it's actually going to happen. But I feel like once you actually leave out the door with the girl, it's definitely going to hit me. Mm. I want you to have fun, but there will be no kissing. There will be no holding hands. None lovey-dovey, none. What? Don't, don't do that. You roll your eyes at me if you want to. I could see myself being interested in another woman because I'm human. I don't want to be interested in another woman. I don't want life without Tamika. I just want you to. Have fun. It's not a lot of fun.
My name is Andre Perry. I'm an artist, and we're at a studio where I paint. The qualities I look for in a woman is someone spontaneous, fun, outgoing, and just honest. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice Ashley, to meet you. Ashley, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you too. Andre. Andre, nice All right. to meet you, Andre. So what are we doing today? All right, we're painting. There you go, right there. Let me tie you up. Appreciate you. What's Are you good nice? with painting? Stop playing. <laughs> On this date, I am hoping to allow myself to open up fully because it definitely does not feel stable when Hollywood threatens to let this relationship end. I need somebody stable to follow. So is this your thing? This is, is definitely my thing. This okay. is uh, what I do. I'm actually a real artist. So yeah. you got all these little situations right here. Don't forget my lips, out. you know what I'm saying? So you, you got you, that means you got to look at me a little bit more. Yeah, let me see. And you got to take that. See, don't lick them, do yeah. the LL lip action. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what that was right there. Okay, right. so I got you. All right, so here, let me check me out. Let me show you how to do this. So you always want to be fluid. Okay. So, uh, see how that goes? Yeah, how easy you make it. Yeah. No, I, pick, I see the picture now. Yeah, I picked, it, I picked this out for you. Stick my with me, I got you. I'll take you some places, all right? <laughs> Don't start nothing, Andre. Hey, that's the whole point. <laughs> so I just want you know, let you know you are gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Definitely, I appreciate hey, that. pleasant surprise this evening. Huh? You know, you're not too bad yourself. Hey, you're thanks. handsome. I'm loving this mohawk hey. and that oh, beard. Hey, you know what? You're going to have me blushing over I'm just, just a little bit. It's kind of cute. Just a little bit. What do you like in a man? I like a gentleman. I like a man that opens doors. Just a doors. real man, just a... Yeah, and there's nothing like is too hard or too much. Okay. Like, I am a touchy feeler. I like a man to rub feet. Like, okay. <laughs> like for I'm real. I'm all about rub that. Rub feet, rub you know, I'm good with my hands. This is, this is what I do. Put what? that down for one second. Let me see your hand real quick. <laughs> let me see your hand, all Okay, right? let's see, let's all right? see. So let me, so, like if I was massaging... Do we need some oil in no, here? No, yeah, hey, calm <laughs> down, all right? You gotta have, you know, strong hands. Okay, you know, I manly like hands. these strong hands, all sir. Right? All right, that's, that's what it's all about. It is amazing. So how does that feel? Amazing. Calm down. You... But see, now you got to do the other side, uh, You know too. what? So that's just a hand, though. But now we, we might get away from pain. Don't worry I'm... about it. All right. It you know, it's this. Yeah. But see, I need it. And you need them from the shoulders, too. Yeah. Don't threaten me with a good time. Andre. That's all I'm going to threaten I'm you just... with. All right? <laughs> all right? The vibe on this date is pure energy. I am a flirt by nature, so definitely heavy flirting on both ends. It's very sexy. When was your last relationship? About a year ago. Okay. And how long was it? Two years. So what happened? Um, when certain things fade away or when things are not met or expectation, mm -hmm. people's feelings change. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully, you know, it... <laughs> Uh, you know, just, Hopefully yeah. it was for the best. You huh? know what I'm saying? It looks like it looks. <laughs> it, it looks promising. It, look, it, look, it looks promising. It's, it's looking <laughs> up right now. It's looking real up. You know. It was definitely a pleasure. I'm definitely super excited. Like I, I didn't know. You know. You didn't know what to expect. No, I didn't. So you, you see. So my... what you think? You cool? More than cool. Hmm. You know, great. This is a great experience. I'm super happy. You know, you seem very cool, interesting, every everything that you know what you that you expect and that you want. This guy is, is just a take charge kind of man. A man that knows what he wants. Oh. Thank you, Andre. No I had Thank a you. great time with Hollywood. I don't feel like he's there yet. And that hand massage was everything, okay? Oh, you smell amazing. I mean, I'll try. It was a definite it was a pleasure. Yes, it definitely was. You did a great job with that. so good to talk to the women because I have absolutely no idea what to expect. I just know that it definitely will be some lessons learned. It's gonna be some growing. <laughs> That's all I can say. What are we cheering to? Um, to this experience. Yes. yes. <laughs> A successful just, experience. What I wanted to talk to you guys about. How has yes. it been for you guys? Because I literally just got the wrong <laughs> You and did. Like, like, watch y'all words. That's all. That's my advice. Watch. Oh, is that refresh? You go, refresh. Girl. I said I felt refreshed. You should my have first date. been there. He said, oh, what, you was thirsty? <laughs> right. <laughs> but we kind of swept some things under the rug, and Dr. Nicole is really bringing them out. 
Mm. So just be prepared uh, for that. You, you okay. said something okay. there because that's Girl. what I mean. Mike is not emotional at all. Like so now, <laughs> like we're getting into deeper conversations. Like kind of like go into what our problems really are a little. Yeah. So, so you guys hard. have been together for five years. Well, we've been together for two and a half. Gotcha. But gotcha. we were together for a year at first, and then we were friends for like four years, okay. and now we're together. And she ghosted and him. Now. I'm just. I gotta oh. say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's so old. That's old news. Okay. But see, you know what though, Shay? Like you think. Maybe that's probably why he doesn't like show that much emotion because he think if he does, he's gonna get hurt. Well, he should have said that when it yes. happened, or at least when he came said. back, he should have been like, you know, something that made me kind of look at you funny was the fact that you ghosted yeah. me in the beginning. So I yeah. need you to, you know, he, that's why I'm just like, boy, it's time to get married. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah. About <laughs> she brought it. She brought it, Jesus. <laughs> I feel Shay was wrong. Okay, I'm sorry, girl, but you were wrong. <laughs> Cause my thing is, if you ghosted me a couple times, then yeah, it's gonna be hard for me to trust that you for real, for real. And now you just want to get married. Um, you might gonna have to wait. Since I've known Vince, even though he did his his crap before in the past, he's always been ready to have you know have kids, be married. Mm -hmm. I'm the one really? that's been hesitant. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't. Is it because of the trust issues? Yeah, it's because of the trust okay. issues. Well, has there been infidelity? Like, what is the trust issue? When we first started dating, mm -hmm. there was this girl who she was calling his phone. And I was like, somebody's blowing your phone up at 12 mm -hmm. in the morning. He's like, oh, that's just this, because he's a photographer. He's like, that's just this model girl. She's crazy. Ignore it. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, she's, yeah, okay. she's, she's oh, crazy. Huh? She's crazy. Okay. okay. Then she DM'd me. We, she was like, I just want you to know that uh, he's in a relationship with me. I was like, that's fine, because, you know, I just I met him maybe two, three months later. She DM'd me again. She was mm -hmm. like, you're still in the picture. Why? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> So do you think that she was just crazy? Like, or girl, do you go think away. she well, wants him? She, or? she exchanged text messages that they had while while we were dating. So I saw like, you yeah. know, the exchange yeah. between yeah. the same thing, he, some of the stuff he was telling her, he was telling me. And yep. I was like, oh, there yep. it is. So that is him. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. So was it just that time, that in the It's beginning? been other incident, you know, things yeah. that have come up within the two and a half years. Oh, it's so much. Jesus Christ. He told me he was going out of town for a production meeting. It turns out he went out of town to be with her and her family. So at first you told me that it was nothing. We weren't together. Now that we're together, you're telling me that you don't know who this girl is, but you just flew to Chicago to be with her family. But I'm the crazy one, and he to this day will not admit that he went to Chicago when the girl has shown me itinerary, she's shown me the text messages, she's shown me everything. Just admit that you freaking lied. Yeah. A little rocky. Mm -hmm. It's been rocky. Cheers, Cheers to too. finding ourselves again. Love, and really happiness, happy. and everything in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Got the champagne. Okay. Okay. It almost feel like we're at a restaurant. I know. It feels like this is a good little day. Mm -hmm. Look at you. I know. I'm trying. Cheers to... Nothing crazy. <laughs> cheers to date night. All right, date night. I thought you were going to be like, cheers to getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to do that. <laughs> I think Mike thinks he can take as long as he wants to get engaged, but if he does not propose at the end of this process, I can definitely find somebody else. So I want to get engaged this year, and I want to get married next year, and that's just... That's your plan. Yeah. Maybe I just need a little more time. Like how much more time? I mean, we just got back together like a year and a half ago. <laughs> a year and a half to me is a long time. I really hope I find the answer. I don't want to be here like next year talking about the same thing. I mean, I, I'm not. I, <laughs> I am not going to be here next year talking about this. What do you mean? I'm not. If I'm not here, you're not going to get engaged this year, married next year. Wow. That yeah. doesn't make any sense that to tells stick to that me, plan. That tells me a lot. I just don't feel like it's fair for her to try to force me or pressure me into marriage right now. I don't think she thinks about what she's done and how she's not committed at different points in the relationship. So I just feel like it's very selfish and unfair. I don't want to give you an ultimatum, but I feel like you need to meet me in the middle. But what's the middle? The middle is being engaged. <laughs> If, if you want me, come get me. Try to catch me if you can. 
I was extremely nervous. Not only is it a first date, it's a blind date, but I'm hoping I'm able to realize what was missing from me while being in this relationship with Vince because I feel like I lost a lot of who I used to be. My name is Everson Bevel. I got a big personality. I talk a lot. Saying people say I flirt, and I'm not even flirting. I'm just talking. I can't help that. I can't help that I just like to talk to people. I'm a nice guy. The type of woman I'm looking for got to be smart. Got to be funny. Got to be strong. I want to see an independent woman who don't need me, but want me. Uh-oh. Excuse me. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> I'm Everson. Nice Hi. to meet you. Tamika, you're so yeah. pretty. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know. They didn't tell me it was going to be pretty. They said I was just going out on a date. <laughs> Every time I was gonna roll up, you was just gonna be in here with a good face, good skin, good glow. Oh, Lord, you're so silly. Do I have sweaty pits? No, it's you hot didn't. outside. He's nervous. No, it was just hot. You know, it's hot. Atlanta <laughs> can't be out here. I see your pits are, you know. They, I mean, they, 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 they good for now. Here. I guess uh, I gotta ask you. Uh oh. Where'd you get that smile? Oh, oh, is it coming? Is that work? It is. It that is. A, it did. It came out. It came. It did work. <laughs> I'm not used to first dates anymore. I thought he was cute. Seemed like he was pretty cool. <laughs> he was just a lot coming in the door. Uh, what type of man do you like? I like uh, creative men. I like artsy men. Okay. I like, you know, stuff like singers, right. photographers, actors. I like to create. Duct tape was my best friend. Yeah. I can make anything <laughs> out of duct tape. What you drink? What you sipping on? I have no idea. I don't drink, but you should try. You don't drink? I don't. I don't. I just had to drink because I was nervous about this date. What, what was you nervous about? Because dating is, is weird. What's weird about dating? Because you're from Atlanta, you know how this... the dating scene is. I... Don't play. So, all right, so what's nervous about dating for you? What do you consider? <sighs> because I, I'll never know if the person is really psycho or not. <laughs> well, you get a vibe. I feel well, like yeah, people... yeah. I definitely can pick up on certain vibes. Certain vibes? <laughs> I love dad jokes, so. Dad jokes? Yes, I love dad oh, jokes. Oh, bad jokes. Dad, hold on. You a cat lady? How many cats you got? <clears throat> two. Well, if you got two cats, what do you call a pile of cats? A uh, mountain. A, a mount. A mount. I get it, but a I mountain. knew it was about to be corny. That's, Look, that's it. There it is, right? But you laughed. I ain't got time. I'm not a dad yet, but one day I want to make sure I have a, a plethora of dad jokes available. How many kids do you want? How many kids? As many as I can afford. As many as I can. I always wanted five, but five. <laughs> Start a basketball team? Because I grew up in a big family, so oh, okay. I just wanted it to continue. My mama, it was seven of them. Mm -hmm. It was, I was, I'm her only son. I'm her only child. I was the only girl, so I guess I kind of experienced, not the only child life, but being the only girl, so I was always to myself. Mm -hmm. and my two brothers would be playing and stuff. What, you the baby? I'm middle. Middle. Middle child. Uh, but you the girl, so that don't really yeah, that's count. What, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I was a girl, so it was yeah, like, you the only you know. girl. You the queen in the house. She's here. <laughs> well, look, I, I really hope. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy this uh, succulent to remind nice. you that this date didn't suck. The date did not suck. There were some moments where I felt like we were vibing as far as our conversation, but I think I cheat myself worrying about Vince. I cheat myself worrying about what he's doing. I hope to uh, get some more things growing too, and I hope to see you again, Tamika. Thank you for my very beautiful plant. It is very, very beautiful. Very <laughs> beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> Hey, this is Peyton Wadley. When I go on a first date, I'm always looking for a woman's energy. I'm looking at how she reacts to me, what I have to say. I like tall women, I like fit women, I like just a good look looking woman. I'm looking for a baddie with good energy. Are you the lovely Miss Shea? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm Peyton. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> when I first saw Peyton, I thought that he was really cute. And I'm very competitive. Good. Are you? OK. I do fear that Mike is not getting any closer to wanting to get married. So I really want to open myself up and see what the possibilities are. So you ready for this L or what? Um, I don't take L. You don't take L's? <laughs> Plus, he was my type. Tall, chocolate, handsome. So that made the date start off wonderfully. So where are you from? I'm from Illinois. When did you move to Atlanta? I moved to Atlanta in 2010. Okay. Are you going to stay? I mean, with a lovely lady like you, I might find a reason mm -hmm. to stick to the city. Look at you and your game. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go first? No, ladies first. Ladies first. Come on now. Are you sure? Ready to lose? Right. <laughs> uh, 
how you come. You scared? I see. I see. <laughs> see what you got. Don't gut her. <laughs> do I need to put the gutters up? I got to pick it up. <laughs> that was the beginner roll. We said we were going to do a practice, right? Uh, yeah. I didn't have to do all that, but yeah. OK. Let me get a, get a strike real quick. It was a, it was a, it's a drink. Ooh. Oh, uh, you can't talk smack and then do that. All right. <laughs> I like that score. Let's keep it like that. <laughs> you about to lose, but, yeah. you know. So are you like, more of a relationship type of man, or are you? At this point in my life, I think so. I mean, what do you like about him? You know, you got a woman that's that's gonna keep you comfortable. Yeah. It's gonna keep you know, and then with everything going on in the world today, I think it's important to have somebody there that you can. Right, a partner. Yeah, a partner for sure. I agree. Yeah. I agree. What about you? I am in a relationship. Okay. And we're just trying to figure out if we want to, you know, get married or not. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. At this point in your relationship, like, how's your heart? Like, are you, where's your heart? My heart is with him, for sure. Okay. But I wanted to move forward. And if it doesn't, then, you know. So your heart is with him, but you want to move forward? Yeah, I want to get engaged, get married. Okay. So you're all in at this point. Yeah. Okay, so you're not the problem. No. Okay. I'm perfect, but. You know, he... <laughs> At first, I was flirting with Peyton just to make Mike jealous. But after I started really opening myself up, I found that we had chemistry. We really had fun with each other. He is so open and honest. And I feel like Mike will not open up at all. And I liked him. Uh, you definitely uh, are a beautiful woman. I love your personality. You got good energy. Thank you. You do too. Cheers to that. Sure, let's do it. Last little bit we got left. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, you know what? No. Yeah, I think that's it for their drink. You need to do? Oh, yeah. Coming! I'm hoping to go a little deeper with our private session with Dr. Nicole. I've been feeling a little stuck lately with Hollywood. I feel like sometimes he does things to make me uncomfortable. That's why I don't like to go there with him because it's hard for me to pull myself up out of that funk. It's good to see you guys. Good to, good see, to see you too. Y'all good? Yeah. yeah. In our group. Watching the two of you, you guys have some angst and tension. It's like when with me and Ash, we have a fire relationship, but the thing is, when I do one thing, it brings us all the way back to the beginning. Why'd you propose? Because I love her. I, I really, like, I... But why why'd you, you propose, propose then? Yeah. Well, at the time... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew I loved her, and our relationship was off the chain. I proposed because she gave me a ultimatum. She think it was a small ultimatum, but it was an ultimatum. So I was like, man, I don't want to lose this girl. So when you call off the wedding, what did you think the damage was going to be? At that time, I was at a spot where I started not caring. So here's what's not going to be too good. You have to be clear on what you created that in her world pulled the rug from under her. And you gotta own it. I do. Okay. You don't. I always tell you I'm sorry for doing that. I tell you I'm sorry for all the impact stuff. of hey, what hey, has hey, happened hey, to hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. I think Hollywood understands what it did to me then, but now the impact has continued. And I can't get past it because it's broken some pieces in me. And I don't know how to heal that pain. 
So you feel angry, why? You did this in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's embarrassing. Yeah. It's em Let it come up so it can come out. I just, I feel like, took away from me something that I wanted. You know, you see like a fairy tale. You see a whole proposal, people happy. You get married, but now forever my proposal is tainted because when I see that dress, I don't want it. Let it out. She knew sorry. I'm sorry. She knew I never wanted that for her. Man, I'm sitting there listening to her talk, and it, it's burning me up in the inside. I was starting to get fed up with keep on proving to her that I want to be married to her, and she keeps saying what I did and how I keep hurting her. And if it's been two years, and I'm like, man, how long is this going to go on? What makes you so angry? Because I know I'm better than that. I don't have to make anybody love me. I don't have to make anybody see me. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you know I and love I you. And I feel like I have to show you that I'm a good woman. Here I am, and I don't have to do that. A lot of our connection is like, it's severed. Yeah. Here's the question. Is the only way to forgive yourself is to go back and make a different decision? Is that the only option to forgive yourself is to go back and say, well, I'm leaving. You ain't ready, I'm out. I don't know. glass of wine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Charles. I went on a date. You had a date today? Mm-hmm. Tell me, how was that? <clears throat> I'm interested. He was cool. I just wasn't really there all the way because I was too busy worried about... I, I just, it felt weird <laughs> dating somebody else. Stop looking at me like that. You're making I, me what? I just feel guilty. To hear what happened. You all, you got your whole date with some fancy chick, so. <laughs> when, when, when? I don't know, but I will be pulling up as soon as I know. I'm not even like worried about the date part, really. Who do you worry about? There's a definite possibility that you can fall for somebody. Well, that's my fear too, with you. There's so many women out there who probably would not give you half the trouble that I give you. Sometimes it's a <laughs> little Sometimes. excessive. When somebody doesn't trust you, everything becomes a question or a what to do. It's frustrating, especially when you love somebody so much and that, that's all the energy that they're giving you. It, it definitely weighs on you. I'm not worried about anybody you taking I... you away from me. I'm worried about you not being honest about you, you getting to know somebody. Um, that better not be your date. That better not be your date. I swear to God. Let me see who's at the door, man. I heard the knock on the door, and the first thing I thought was, that better not be your date or I'm gonna punch you in your face. Hey, hey. how you doing? How are you? You ready? Um, I think so. You think you ready? Hi, Hi. I'm his girlfriend. This Hi, girlfriend. Tamika. Are we coming in? We wanna sit down for a minute? Um, no, we're not coming in. You guys go ahead. So you letting your man go out on a date with me? Mm-hmm. When I saw her face, I was like, oh, she's pretty, and she has a nice body, and she's taking my man. All right. Well, she trashy, so you ready? Why? Bye. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, here we go. Shall we? I just think it's yeah. really messed up how, like, What? Nothing, bye. The reaction of his girlfriend. It, it's a little weird for me. I'm like, okay. I feel like she's very insecure about trusting him around women. 
Bye. I have trust issues. So once I'm in my head, I'm thinking of all these different scenarios. It's also bringing up all those emotions and all those feelings all over again. So it just hurts. The call to action is, as you date a new person, allow yourself to be your true self. So look, I just started playing this game. You know what it's about? What it's about? Making it hard for you next. You like it hard? So what are you lacking at home? What am I lacking at Yes, home? what are you lacking, lacking at home? I just want her to trust me. Why is it my fault? Who said it's your fault? You said I've it. I've never said it's your fault. Do you really want to get married under duress? That's a recipe for disaster. She was gorgeous. She was. If I could say one thing to Whitney, I would say, keep your hands off my man. Did you go out with her again? Mm-mm. Ooh, ooh. Um.